Hi everyone, hope you're all enjoying a lovely holiday season. I'm Mike here with Xinhua News Agency here in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. And we're about to bring you a very, very special holiday delivery with our star aircraft, the Ehang 184, which is an example of China's homegrown technology. And it is one of the most advanced models of automated area vehicles in the world. Uh, now, I guess some of you might be wondering why this aircraft is called the 184, and it is because of its features. It can have one passenger, eight propellers, and four arms. In the following 20 minutes, we will be introducing this aircraft and also interviewing some of the people key to its development, and then we're going to load it up with presents and then fly it off uh, to deliver it to some of the children in this city. So let's take a closer look at the aircraft. I was just telling you guys how there are eight propellers. They're very long and sleek, and each one of them are around 1.6 meters. So if you can see, it's roughly around the length of my arm, or half of it. And then we have blinker lights on all of the four legs. And I'm pretty sure it's adjusted to holiday mode right now, so it's like green and red. Uh, and then let's have the camera follow up to the headlight here. And you can see made by Yi Hang and created in China. At the bottom here we have the camera which will record all of the stunning scenery while this aircraft is in the air. Um, and it will also be projected on the big screen in the research center which we will visit in a moment. And at the bottom of this aircraft is the battery and it can fly to maybe up to 20 minutes. Uh, and it's a pretty petite model, so I kind of wanted to see what it would be like for someone to be inside. So we're going to bring out my colleague, Ms. Miranda, here, who will also be playing Santa Claus. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. I'm Miranda. Today, I will be Miss Santa and delivering the gift to the kids by Ehang 184. Okay, so Mike, All what right, are we going to do? Take a look. So okay, I'll, I'll so be personal, cool. Personal, you know, chauffeur. Okay, open, so this, this luxury never seen this you. before. It's such Ooh, a cool drone, it but it's, it seems pretty small. Can I fit in? I'm pretty sure you fit in. Okay, let me try. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited because, you know, finally I can upgrade the sleigh into this kind of uh, automatic aerial vehicle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're tired of all the reindeer, so hop yes. on in. Yes, okay. Careful there, Santa. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's really pretty small. So this is the one passenger seat here. Wow, I can see. Well, it just fits one person. <laughs> Make sure you buckle and, up. Yeah, there is some seat out here. You can just uh, tie it up. Okay, it's pretty like the fly airplane. It looks like one of those, you know, parachuting seat belts. Yeah, it can be like safe when you just uh, fly into the air. Okay. As yeah. we can see here, there is no steering wheel. What we have is a, a surface pad that we can put on or take off, and this shows the control screen. Uh, Miranda, yes. can you tell us a little bit about what you see? Yeah, actually, what I can see here is pretty empty around here. Just the one surface pad, and on the screen, the uh, drone's model, and we'll see all the functioning parts of the drone. And, and also, on the right side, you can see those map uh, around this area yeah so I think it's like a satellite image don't you think yeah I think it's satellite image definitely yeah does it feel warm inside it's pretty warm and cozy yeah actually Mike how about you try sure yeah sure. I think it will be much challenge for you because uh, you're much taller than me oh I'm, I'm nervous okay let me see okay all right oh, thank you God. Santa nice try okay, and uh, I'm gonna try. it's Mike's turn Oh, okay. okay, because Mike is about six feet tall, it will be I don't very drop narrow my, for you. My mic. Watch out your head. Okay. Ooh, it's pretty warm inside here. Uh huh. And I, I remember one of the features is that it'll have air conditioning. So if we're going to fly this over the Arctic, it'll be really warm. If we fly it over the tropics, okay, so you are pretty cool. in. Okay, well, this is a pretty cool scene. You can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the the temperature okay. and there's like a fan okay. and it shows you the distance to your destination how high okay. you're flying and also the there is. is there is a battery under your seat 
you know, there's a battery for this drone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know I, how I much it, it can uh, stand? Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, there's a battery underneath this vehicle, uh -huh. and it can fly up to around 20 minutes. Okay, I got it. So, uh... Here, I'll, I'll just show you what the pad looks like when we take it off. So this is the oh, surface can, pad. Okay. Right, so this is pretty much showing the same thing on the big screen in the research center. Mm-hmm. You okay. want to take this? No, no. How about you just, you just uh... You, you just buckle it up and uh, try something else. Uh, okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're going it for real this time. Uh, you can try. I, I'm, sh I'm sure it's the first time. Buckle it up and... Uh, Ooh, I, my waist is fat anyways. <laughs> so I will wait, 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 what's close going the on? door. What's going on? Okay, bye. No. Have a good journey. What? Fly what? up to the I'm air. So scared. Miranda, Santa, come back! Have a great Christmas! Santa, okay. Me. I'm just kidding. Oh, scared me Don't for a be moment. afraid. <laughs> okay. All right. So I, I can I can get it. So Do actually, you if you take out the pad, you can just uh, control the drone outside of it. Oh, I press something. It just okay. Breathe. So actually, it can be an M-man drone because you can just pick up someone and uh, control it from long distance. Okay, careful. <laughs> Ow. Oh, oh, microphone. This dropped it. Okay, I will get it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it's so good to be short like you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, uh, actually, I will get some presents for the kids and I will take it back. So, yeah. here's the time to I'll Mike. Just, I'll show you the trunk so we're going to load up. Bye, see you later. Bye, Santa. So, Santa's going to fetch some presents and she's going to load it up into the trunk back here. In the meantime, I am going to go interview. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. I'll go interview Mr. Derek Xiong, who is one of the co-founders of Ehang, and he's also currently the chief marketing officer. And he's going to tell us a little bit more about his company and special project. Uh, Hi, nice Hi, to meet thank you. you. Thank you for joining our show. Yeah. Now, can you tell us why did your company decide to build an aircraft like this? Right, because we really want to build up some aircraft that's super safe. As you can mm. see, you know, like this is uh, aircraft is with a, you know such a unique design. Uh, one passenger, eight propellers, and the four arms. And we want it to be like super safe. And this is actually the world's very first uh, autonomous, uh, which means you know self-driving. Uh, aircraft that you, it does not require a piloting license to pilot it. Now I'm, I'm glad you mentioned safety because I'm sure that for many of our viewers what the first thing that they would think of when they see a vehicle like this is what are some of its safety features? What have you guys done to make this you know safe? Right so compared to the traditional like helicopter which comes with one propeller as you can see the eight propellers together provides much like extra uh, power and also provides extra redundancy during the flight which means when you let's say you know in a really really small chance of you know like situation where you lost the power of one propeller you still got seven propellers to back up and that's how we make sure you know it's extra you know like safe uh, during the flight all right you hear that everyone I feel yeah. safer already and how does this aircraft uh, size up to its foreign competitors. Right, so this is the world's very first. So we don't see much competition. It's more oh. about, you know, it's, you know, it's still like a, a blue ocean here in this area. So there was like, you know, several companies around the world doing similar concepts. But with this, you know, very unique design, I think we are the world's very first one. Awesome. Yeah. And I heard you have a pretty cool research and command center. Yeah, that's actually the world's very first command control centers for drones. And let's go and check it out. Out. All right, thank you so much. Now, as you can see, I have those Christmas gifts here in my hand, and I will deliver it to children by the Ehang 184. And here is the truck on Ehang. This, this drone is cost us 300,000 US dollars. And here is the truck, a little box inside. I put this bag inside, close it up, and push it. Okay, locked. So my job has done. And now let's see how is Mike doing in the control center. 
All right, welcome back to this very special Xinhua holiday delivery. Here we are in this, what I believe to be the launch room. Do we have an official name for this room? Yeah, it's a command control center for drones, for all the Yihan drones. Oh, nice. And uh, you know, can you give us a little bit more detail about what goes on in this you know, magical place? Sure. So if you can take a look here, you know, we got a huge screen here. And that's the big display to display all the information, um, you know, all the information from our connected drones and from, you know on the right top part you can see what the drone is viewing mm -hmm. and all these views all these li live camera views from the drones as well and here you can see the attitude the real time speed and the health level of the sensors like you know such as the you know the gyro compass you know barometer gps so basically from this um, you know command control center you can tell like what's happening with the drones you know in the air and it, it also send out command control signals to the drones to you know to take off to land or to make the drones to fly to its um, you know destinations all right so yeah. if, if i'm getting this right so this one is uh, is that a satellite image yeah 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 that's a satellite image and that's like the real f um, video footage Oh, and that's yeah. the real. What about those two screens down here? Yeah, that's the live camera recording from the room and from the outside. Oh, as well. I yeah. see, I see. Awesome. Okay, so we see a lot of these little drones yeah. over here. So can you explain to our audience what are some of the technological differences between these kind of small drones and the big 184? Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, there's like a huge difference between this smaller drone. I mean, the only difference, uh, the only uh, you know similarities are, um, you know, they're both you know in terms of the uh, multi-rotor structure okay so here it comes like four propellers the Yihan 184 comes eight propellers but they're both have like a you know like a quad uh, but they're both like a quadcopters okay but the difference is that the, the key challenge for the Yihan 184 is that there's no company in the world actually kind, kind of like you know like dealing with such a huge size of propellers and that's super hard to control and so we spent you know, years working on the flight control algorithm, you know, to make sure that how we can balance, how we can control such a huge multi-rotor aircraft like Ihan 184. So the technology behind is different, but I mean, they look definitely similar. Oh, of course, you know, the, just because something looks similar doesn't mean that it is similar. Now, uh, I bet all of our viewers are dying to see the launch of the world's first passenger drone. Uh, Derek, can you please show us how yeah. to launch this aircraft? Yeah, so here comes our engineer. Our Ehung engineer hard at work preparing the launching of the 184 live on Xinhua. So Derek, can you explain what is he doing right now? He's drawing the blue. Yeah, now like he's setting up the you know the pre-planned flying route for oh. Ihan Y A four. So the Ihan Y A four knows like where it is heading to, how high it's supposed to flying. Oh, I see. And you know he, because you can see this whole satellite map here on the computer screen, right? So yeah, basically we're making the flight plan. Okay. All right, I see the propellers launching. Hearing the announcements from the big computer. Oh, the motors are going. Wow. Wow, will you look at that, everyone? Look on the big screen. The Ihang 184 has taken flight. You know, Derek, this really feels like we're living in the future. Yeah. When I was a kid, I really wish there was a flying car full of presents that would yeah. just descend from the sky. Yeah. These like kids are really lucky. Yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> that part of the inspiration? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, one part of the you know, inspiration was because one of the, you know, so the two coaches, the piloting coaches are our founder, Mr. Hu, died during a flight accident. So that's kind of inspire us to think about, you know, if there's a possibility for us to make a safer aircraft. All right, so what I'm hearing is that the mantra of your company is safety first. Yeah, definitely. So now you can see the, you know, now you can see the Ihan 184 is flying to the direction that, you know, like the preset um, flying route before, like we said, you know, just now. 
And, and how far can this aircraft fly uh, within the reach of the launch center? So, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, the launch center can be in Guangzhou and Yihan Wei 4 can fly anywhere in the world. So, oh, it's a global system. Yeah, it's a global system. It used the, you know, use the network, it's used, it's used the, you know, internet. And the, the thing is like per charge, Yihan, per charge, Yihan Wei 4 can fly up to around like 30 kilometers. And now you can see all these views are from the inside part of the Yihan Wei 4 and all these live uh, videos are being transmitted by back to the tra you know back to the um, back to this command control center real time. And what are some of the planned uses uh, for this aircraft? Right. So um, we work with the one of the company called Long Biotechnology in the U.S. Um, to transport human-made organs and also for patients. Okay. For, for oh, so for like emergency rooms, if there's yeah, traffic, yeah, yeah, yeah. then yeah, yeah, to avoid traffic, to you know, to make it faster and uh, save lives. Well, that's a very noble cause. Uh, the other things like we work with the Dubai uh, RTA, the Dubai Road Transportation Authority. Together with them, we're building up the world's very first, um, you know, the fl the flying taxi, kind of like a transportation city system in the world. Are there any current uh, legislation or regulations regarding this area? Yeah, because Yihan 184 comes with such a new structure. So wherever we go, we kind of need to work with the local regulators um, to create a standards, like new standards mm -hmm. for. Uh, you know, for new kind of aircraft like Yihan 184. So that's, um, you know, that's how we work with uh, Dubai RTA as well as the China CAAC and also, you know, US, you know, uh, with the uh, state of Nevada together to, to, you know, to build up new standards and to working with regulators and think about how we should regulate and uh, what kind of standard we should come out with f uh, in the future for aircraft like this. Oh, I see. And and how long do you think this process will take? Well, it's gonna take some time, but I think along the way. It, but that does not mean that we, you know, we're not be able to have a chance to test it out or or let's say partially commercialize it. So I think it's still gonna it's it's it's, it's, that, it's definitely gonna be a long term plan. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we are already testing every day. Um, here in Guangzhou in China. I see. Now I see that the 184 is just about landed. Oh, and there's a smooth landing. We see the camera fixing <laughs> on the floor here. Awesome. Okay, let's go outside and uh, deliver the presents to all the children. All right, everyone, so this is where the E-Hung 184 has landed. And now we see Miss Santa bringing all the children to the trunk where we will deliver all of the presents. Come here. Come here. Come here. As we've been iterating earlier, this is the world's first passenger drone and we've just done a live broadcast for the Xinhua social media platforms. And now, all of the children are getting their presents. Did you guys see? Did you guys see the drone coming down? Yeah. What did you think of the drone? Um, so good and fun and looks so good. Oh, awesome. What's your name, buddy? Alistair. Alistair. Okay, what, does the drone remind you of anything? Maybe some movies that you watched? Star Wars movie. A Star Wars movie, that's right. This is a very sci-fi feel to it. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us. I uh, hope you ch come and look at our platform in the future. And again, this is the e 184, the world's first passenger drone. All right, thanks for watching Xinhua's live broadcast of the special holiday delivery made by the e 184. Let's end with some more clips from e -Hung. Happy holidays, everyone.